guest today, Janine, is here to confront her husband, Mike. Now, Janine is devastated because her husband has become obsessed with extreme plastic surgery. Janine says he doesn't want to become someone else, but actually he wants to become something else. Janine is on The Jeremy Carl Show. Give a round of applause. How are you? Really nice to meet you. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I read this this morning and I'm like, really? I know. How long have you been with this guy? Um, I've been with him for like six years and um, we met at church and um, his cat Smudge died when we were going out. Sorry? His cat died, Smudge Smudge was his name. Let's just slow down a second because okay, I... No, no, you're fine. I'm 47. I find things difficult sometimes. They say he's become obsessed with plastic surgery. At that yeah. moment when you met him, was he talking about this at all? No, no, no. He wasn't, no, he wasn't talking about that. What's the cat got to do with plastic surgery? Oh, he got, he gets, he's got surgery to make himself look more like the cat. <laughs> and, 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 the, and the serious thing, I read this this morning, this is what's, what's important for you in your relationship, is that he is spending money that, frankly, as a couple, you don't have, right? Yeah, he spent $11,000 on surgery, and he's lost his job now. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I know, it's important to your life. Okay. And he's called Mike, been living six years. Let's get Mike on the Jeremy Cow Show. It's coming that way. Or rather, deck undercover. What we do at home? Cat stuff sometimes. He does cat stuff sometimes. Yeah, just like cat, you know, goes at my legs and muscles them or like does it. Really this funny. woman says, welcome to the show, that she had absolutely no idea when she married you six years ago that this was an obsession. Smudge obviously meant so much to you. Smudge was, was the best friend I ever had growing up on the farm. And when my cat died, part of me died too. This so might sound a little bit weird to you guys, but. You know, underneath all of this, I'm still the same guy. This is about you two. This isn't about me. Tell him how you feel. I just feel like you're not the same guy anymore. You're not acting the same. Do you not have the same heart? Jeremy's dealing with the situation very well. Time to up the ante. You want to eat cat food? It's just... Not... It's just me. It's just me. It's... You... No, you want to use a litter box? <laughs> That's not really normal, though, is it? Can I add another thing into this story? You, you go next door to the neighbour because she treats you better than she does. Well, what does that mean? That's, that's, that's where I get the cat food. She gives me the cat food next door. So people at home, people at home with the greatest respect are thinking, oh, right, OK, so he misses his cat, he's had plastic surgery, he bought round next door to the neighbour for a quickie. What's going on? It always sounds strange because you don't understand. If you try use a litter tray, then you'll understand. If you use... I don't want to use a litter tray. I want to use the toilet. Take this the right way. I don't care what you do. It's her, your wife. It, it, tell him. But I've told you, Judy. I'm, I'm still the same I guy. Can't, I, not, I can't live like this anymore. I can't. You can't be a man or wife if you're gonna go sleep under cars and poop on the house. Oh my God. <laughs> come from a different planet, quite obviously. I mean, you miss this cat so much, you've had plastic surgery. Anybody can see that. And is this something that you're going to continue doing or what? At the moment, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy with how I look and how I feel. Do you have the cat's ashes, apparently? Yeah, he takes them everywhere. He took them on our honeymoon. You have our pictures. You've got to let go. you got to let go of him. I feel, when, when I have Smudge's ashes with me, I feel like... Smudge is still here and he's part of us. But he's, he's just part a of cat. Us. Jeremy has completely fallen for the story. But how will he deal with the arrival of Smudge? Is that the cat's ashes? That That's Smudge's urn. He brought him with him. And I need you to just... Right, this is, this is seriously Smudge's ashes, right? Yeah. You can see, see, honey, like, we need to stop. You we just need to Meanwhile, the New York Health and Safety Department have heard there's a dangerous cat on the loose and they're on the hunt to find it. Chief Health and Safety Inspector, 
of the tri-state area. You have dangerous cats what is, in the what? studio. Net the cat! Net the cat! Jeremy Cow, sir. The studio is not a place for a big cat. Therefore, so the, the studio is a man. The studio now has to be shut down as decreed by the Safety and Health Act of 1970. In fact, you're going to have to face the charges on Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway, Jeremy. No! Fantastic sport he is. Give him a round of applause. Jeremy Cuff.